Moving on to the next topic, it is to identify points, lines, and planes. Now, starting with points, points is something like this. It is zero-dimensional object. It has no size, no shape, nothing. It's just to denote that's a point. Whereas line is two points connected together. See, this is a line. Now, if you have two points and you draw a line, this is having a single dimension, that is the length. But as a plane, see over here, plane, this will be, this is a two dimension. Point is a zero dimension. Line is a two di one dimension and plane is two dimension. Over here in the plane, you can see there's a length and height. So there are two dimensions over here. A plane is something like a table, you know, this is a plane. You can see the base over here, this W is a plane. You can see this is a plane or the faces of this uh, particular object. It's a triangular pyramid. Over here, these all are planes. It's a triangular prism over here. So now we will solve this problem. You can see in the figure how many planes are shown. Let us see. So you can see one of this. This is a plane, which is the plane W. And then you can see this side. This is also a plane, a rectangular plane. That is one, two, and this side, F, E, A, B, is another plane 3. And you can see F, D, C, A, that's on the back side. If you're standing over here, so then you can see this over here. This would be the fourth plane. And then you can see on top, there's one more, that is 5. So there must be 5 planes. Don't consider the one which is over here, uh, which is touching the bigger plane. Only the 5, which I just now mentioned. So it'll be 5. How many planes contain points F and E? So now let's see where are the points F and E. That's over here and over here. So which are the planes that contain? So draw this line. Which are the planes? So this is one plane that is F, E, A, B and F, E, D are the two planes. So there are two planes which will have this particular line. See, now if you consider this plane, it won't have a FE line. It will just have the point E. So that is not considered. So now moving, sorry, name the four points that are collinear. So now you need to have four points that are, sorry, coplanar. Points which are in the same plane. Say, for example, this, 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 and this. There are four points in the same plane. So these are coplanar. Even over here, if you consider these four points, coplanar or the back side. We can't take the top plane because there are only three points in there. So they're asking for four points. And over here are the points A, B, and C. A, B, and C coplanar. Yes, because you can see over here this all lie in the plane W. So this is the main plane, and they are all in the same plane. So Imagine these are three chocolates. They're all on a table. So they are lying on the same table, not on another table. It's not like over here on top of something else. No, if it's on flat on the table, yes, then they they basically lie on the same plane. Now, similarly, over here, they have given another figure. The rooftop and exterior walls of the house represent intersecting planes. Use the image, name all the lines that are formed by the intersecting plane. So now you must just name all the lines where two planes are intersecting. So whenever one plane will intersect to one more plane, they intersect at a line. So sorry for my bad drawings. Now imagine over here, this particular plane and this plane over here, where they intersect to be a line, say HF. So now you have to just mention all the lines over here. Say over here, AB, this is a line which intersects a g a h b c these are all the possible answers h d and uh, over here they might say for example f g you can either mention it as g f or f g it's the same thing so all the lines mentioned over here are all formed by intersecting of different planes so this is it. It's very simple and straightforward. You have to just identify the points, lines, and planes.